Hi there everybody, in this video I have this uh, Chrysler PT Cruiser and uh, these lights are looking really yellow and opaque um, so even the MOT station have said uh, this won't really be passing its next MOT um, it was kind of borderline last year because I polished them but this time I'm gonna do a more uh, permanent repair so this is um, what they look like at the moment and uh, once I finish and uh, once uh, it's finished it should look as nice as this so this is quite uh, finished now just have to remove the tape around it but it's very nice and clear So that's the difference at the moment. Um, now, I've started, this is a 320 sandpaper. So I'm going to use this sandpaper to get rid of all the rough bits like uh, all these rough bits that can be seen there all the way down here so I have the machine as well the machine is a lot faster obviously but it all depends really and you we really have to sand down as much as you you need to um, also these areas here so the machine can't get around here I can even feel these areas really rough but I'm gonna get in with with this and I'll have to do it with the sandpaper and its own so I'm going to do this with the 320 for some time until I get rid of all that and uh, and the lens is it will look really bad or scratched and then I uh, will continue with um, I'm gonna use a 500 after that okay so now I'm gonna use the machine here and uh, this is a 500 um, and with that I'm gonna go <coughs> just gonna make the the 320 that I use um, it's gonna make it a bit more smoother so I'm gonna spend a little bit of time doing that not really too much time just a few minutes obviously with the machine it's a lot faster um, <laughs> all I want to do is really go over um, whatever I did with the 320 and then I'm going to move on to yet another one, which is going to be a 1500. So I'll get back to that in a minute. Okay, so I finished with the uh, 500 there. Let's give this a, a little clean. And uh, now I'm going to use the 1500. It's going to be even more fine, but I'm going to use a little bit of water. Just gonna spend some time maybe five minutes with the 12 uh, 1500 here and also take i'll take it out from the machine and then do the corners um and then uh well i'll get back to it again okay so i finished with the 1500 um just gonna wipe this off um and uh this is already looking a thousand times better but um, 
still haven't really finished there but um the 1500 you could go down to 2000 now but i'm not going down to 2000 The more, uh, so the finer the gray that you use with the sanding paper, the finer the little scratches are gonna be on the on on the lens. So fifteen hundred is uh, quite a good gray to go down to, but uh, it's up to you really. Um, if you really want perfection, then you could go down to two thousand. So now I'm going to just uh, wipe this off with some paper. Just dry it and clean it all around. Because I don't want any water for the next step. Okay, so the last step is this 2K uh, clear lacquer. This clear lacquer is the one that's used on the actual uh, car and it's long lasting and it really works well. Um, I've done a few cars already. Um, especially mine, I did mine, my CLK a few years ago and still shining like that so that is what the next step is going to be I'm going to apply this clear lacquer today is really um, not windy at all which is which is really good because um, then this is not gonna go everywhere um, and also there's an insect going up the headlight there don't really want to have it in the uh, paint okay. um, so that's what I'm going to do next I'm going to apply some of these but I, I want to cover a little bit more of the bodywork here so it doesn't really spray everywhere okay so I just covered a little bit more of the area there and I'm just gonna give it one first coat just a light coat here like so I'm gonna let it dry for just a few minutes and then I'm gonna give it another coat um, and then again let it dry maybe five minutes and give it a third coat um, and um, I'll get back to it once I finish. So that is the finished product. Um, just remember if you put too much lacquer it could run. A run can be created and if if you get that run then you have to uh, sand it down again. So just be patient and uh, apply the, uh, the lacquer in small amounts. You can even see the numbers there now. Um, so now we have two good looking headlights uh, on this uh, lovely PT Cruiser so anyway I hope this uh, video is of um, help somebody trying to restore their headlights could be on any car really 
I did a, I did a Toyota the other day. So this is the one I did a while ago as well. These were really bad as well. This was really yellow. Um, both headlights come out looking very reasonable. Um, but like I said, I really hope this uh, video helps anybody trying to restore the headlights. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Um, thank you for watching and uh, check out my link below. I have some uh, merchandise up for grabs.